still has the same three modes. I'll go back into line two. I'm going to change that SOS to something different. I'm going to go back to strobe. So, enter your general settings. Select item one. Here's constant brightness. Next to strobe, I'm going to select that, tighten and loosen. And it starts its ramping algorithm for the frequency. It'll go from 1 to 50 hertz. I'll select it right here by tightening and loosening. I'm out of programming mode because I've made a selection. You have five items in general setting mode. You have your mode selection and setting, what I just showed you. You have your item 2, which is uh, reset to factory defaults and custom preset. Item 3 is the selection of the power source. Stock is using 18650s. It'll cut off voltage at 2.8 volts. That's what I'm using. I don't need to change it. You also have the option for a few other battery types. Item 4 is setting up the first line. So with the bezel tightened, those three modes I showed you. Item 4 in general settings will let you choose how many modes you want, the selection of auto memorization, and uh, the selection of stabilization. So you've got auto memorization means does it remember what mode I was just in last. So I turn it off and on, it does. It keeps it in that mode. If I had it off, it would keep going back to low. I could change it to this, turn it back on, it would of course be in low when I turn it on. Uh, I prefer to be on and memorize the mode I was just in. Uh, so then the stabilization type, you have full, semi, and step. Full meaning the light will never dim on you until the battery cannot supply enough voltage or amperage, and it'll shut off after three warning blinks. Semi will slowly ramp down in brightness as the battery lowers in voltage. Step is the exact same thing as semi. It'll also lower in brightness as the battery depletes, but it'll show it more visually. It'll step down from 100 to 80%, 80 to 60, 60 to 50, and it's more visual to the eye. Semi is a gradual decline by percentage, and it's, it's hard to tell, um, especially if you're not paying attention to it. Item 5 is the exact same thing as item 4, but for the second line. So that'll be for your strobe and your firefly. So item 5 will let you choose how many modes you want, your auto memorization, and your stabilization. I'm going to go through one of those just to give you an idea. So enter general settings, bezel is loosened, turn the light on, tighten, loosen, off and on. I'm in general settings. I'm going to now go to my first line. I'm going to change how many modes I have in it. I'm going to change it to one mode. So for first line is item four. So shut the light off. Two, three, four. So four blinks indicates I'm in item four of general settings. Tighten and loosen to select that. One blink is for how many modes. Tighten and loosen to select that. One blink means one mode. Tighten and loosen, I've selected that. I'm out of programming mode. Tighten my bezel here to show you. Okay, I've got full brightness. Loosen and tighten. Nothing happens. I've only got the one mode. Change that again for you. Enter general settings. Item 1, 2, 3, 4. Select it. One blink will be the mode selection. Select that. And I'll wait for two blinks which is two modes of course, and I'm out of programming mode. So now I've got full brightness and low. And you can change those at any time doing what I showed you before and start the ramping sequence. So I want to change that low. This is not general settings, this is your line one setup. Loosen, tighten, off and on, and the light starts ramping. So
Select it by loosening and tightening because this is line 1. Or as general settings you would tighten and loosen. Okay, now we're going to select the item 3 which is the power source. You can choose between two CR1238 lithium primaries. Uh, that cutoff voltage is going to be 2 volts. Uh, item 2, or s it's still item 3, but selection number 2 is for an 18650. Cutoff is 2.8 volts, so you don't damage the cell. Selection 3 is for 2 R123 rechargeable uh, lithium ions, so cutoff voltage for that is going to be 5.6 volts. Item f or selection 4 is one 18650 LiPo4 cell which is a safer uh, version of 18650 with a little bit less capacity. It's a different chemistry. So that cutoff is going to be 2.5 volts. Enter general settings. Item 1, item 2, item 3, indicated by three blinks. Selected by head tightening and loosening. One blink is for two R or CR one two three A's. Two blink is for an eighteen six fifty. Three is for two one two three lithium ions, and four is for an eighteen six fifty LiPo four battery. So I'm gonna wait for two blinks because I'm using an eighteen six fifty. Tighten and loosen. It'll now cut off at two point eight volts and will not ruin my battery. If you want to save a custom preset, so uh, for instance, I have my two modes in line one, and in line two, I have also two modes. That's different from the standard, what it shipped with military mode, and that's also different from outdoor. So if I want to save that, I'm going to go into uh, general settings. Go into item 2, which is your presets, select it, you're going to let it cycle through. So the first blank would be military, 2 is outdoor, this third blank is for custom preset. I don't want to select it because I don't have one saved. So I'm going to wait for it to cycle through, it just did. Okay, and I'm going to turn the light off and on. It's going to start over. It's gone through three times now. I don't know if one, two, three blinks. I'll select that, and it just saved my custom preset. So my light is unchanged. Still have the two there. Line two, I have the two modes there as well. But I've got that mode saved. So I enter general settings. Here's military what the light is shipped with. Go back into programming mode. Item 2. I'm going to choose my custom preset, so three blinks. And you can see I'm back into a slower strobe. Firefly. And line one, I have only two modes of higher output. So it saved my custom preset. Any questions, feel free to email me, uh, post a comment, send me a private message, uh, it doesn't matter. My personal favorite is the neutral emitter. It renders color better than the cool white. It's easier on the eyes, especially when you're outdoors. You're inside, not so much. Uh, but I definitely would pick a neutral emitter at any time. High CRI, I do like more, um, but because of the lower output, I would not choose it. I would stick with the 7% loss of light for the neutral color, rather than 7% more for cool white. But remember, if you choose high CRI, you're going to lose about 30% of your brightness from the cool white version.